convince your first client to go with a bunch of kids to out of college with absolutely no experience? I got them drunk. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> I used to carry an empty portfolio. Then I walked into Jack Morton's menswear. It was on the drag. And I, he said, why should I believe you? And I said, I'm going to take you places you've never been. You will be our first client. And we will never, ever forget it. And we will do whatever it takes to build your business. And he trusted us. And he gave us the business because of our sheer passion that if you'll give us a chance, we'll never forget you. So we just were tenacious. We didn't give up. We had Dr. Peppers at 10, 2, and 4, and cheese sandwiches. We were not going to fail. So let me ask this question. A lot of students out here, uh, you've given some advice about how they should lead their professional careers. What about just some practical success advice you would give them? And how to sell themselves? Number one, you need to decide not what you want to do, but what you love to do. Because I don't believe in the Peters principle. Have you heard that? That you become, at some point, you just get burnt out. You don't get burnt out by doing what you love to do. You get burnt out trying to be average at what you're bad at. <laughs> That's how you get. Spend your life becoming great at what you're good at. Don't listen to the advice of you've got to be better and better and better at the things you're bad at. And by the way, I would encourage you to go start a business. And don't think you have to be the next Google. There's not many of them, and there is already one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, if you go out and have kids, that's not the time to start a business. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> that is not the time. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know, I'm a, here's, your, here's the wrap. Well, you know, I'm going to go to the job and get my feet on the ground and get some money. And then I'll start a business. That money is already spent. Trust me. Right now, when you get out of college, the worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to fail. As Ann Richards used to tell me, well, honey, get over it and get on with it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just telling you, it's, it's not every, for everybody. But I'm, I'm telling you, Tom, if we don't encourage the young people, and it's the miracle of this nation. It's the engine of this country. You mentioned paying a price to be exceptional. Yes, sir. What price did you have to pay to be exceptional what you do? We just outworked them. And, you know, they always say outsmart them, not outwork them. Well, when you're not very smart, that's hard. <laughs> and I will tell you this. You give me some young people around me that are average talent like I am, and you build a team together, and you outwork the bastards, you'll win them. So I think the easy answer is we believed in ourselves, we believed in each other, we outworked them. And we never let anybody take our dreamer away. Nobody. You can take my house away, my car, my motorcycle. You can't take my dream because you know what? I have to give that to you. And I'm not going to. Thank you all for being you. Hook them orange. Yeah.